Hello my friend. Today I'm going to be doing a bunch of tie-dye, so I thought it would be fun to do a mini review of the 36 Project tie-dye kit, the super big color combination. It has all the rainbow colors I like to use, plus a couple extra. And I have 36 items in my bucket here, soaking in a few gallons of soda ash. So we're gonna see if we can actually do 36 projects with the kit. Evie, are you gonna help mama tie-dye? Yeah, you're gonna help her tie-dye all the t-shirts? Okay, so the package comes with your 12 different colors already in bottles. You just have to add water. I like to use hot water. It comes with 16 pairs of gloves. I would not recommend these. I always end up with dyed fingertips. Uh, so I would just buy some regular kitchen gloves or something from the grocery store. It comes with some rubber bands and of course a nice plastic mat. Uh, the inside has a bunch of different instructions on different patterns and things that you can do. And the back gives you a couple ideas to pick from too. But for this, uh, this group of items, I'm just gonna stick with something simple and I'm gonna do a spiral on everything. I have some tank tops, I have some uh, V-neck t-shirts, some regular t-shirts, and I have some polo shirts. So I'm very excited to see how they all come out. All right, these have been soaking for about 40 minutes. You only really have to do it for about 20 to 30. I like to give it a little extra, especially because I've got so much in there. The first step is to fold them onto the table all in the spiral pattern. I'll have a nice big pile and then we'll start off with all of the beautiful colors. I've got my own gloves here, two sets just in case, some extra rubber bands, and I bet you think these are cookies. They're not. That's my rubber band collection from all the different tie-dye kits I've done over the years. All right, so here are my small, medium, and large tank tops. These are the polo shirts. I've got extra small, small, medium, large, extra large. Then in the V-neck fitted tee, I have a small, medium, and large pile. And then the regular unisex t-shirts, we've got a small, two extra larges, and one 3XL. I know I don't have a lot of actual sizes, but this is what I could get. So now we're gonna make most of them rainbow. Some of them are gonna have the other colors in them as well. So we'll see what we get. All right, so I'm a little disappointed. I've used most of the dies now and I've only done about 12 of the shirts. I've still got a whole bunch more so I am going to have to mix more dye. So I'm going to go do that and then I will be back. All right, all 36 items are dyed. We'll have to wait until tomorrow to wash them to see what they look like. There's only one shirt in here that was kind of a kerfuffle of the last of the dyes. It's this one. I'm not really sure it's going to look very nice, but I've got some nice color combinations going on and we'll see which ones everybody loves the most and then we'll make more of them. 
Okay, my friends, I washed all 36 tie-dyes, and they are gorgeous. There are some color combinations that I like better than others. I'm going to be selling these at an event, so I had to come up with some sort of name to keep track of them. So the rainbow versions are obviously called Magical Rainbow. These pink, purple, and blue ones, these are going to be called Unicorn Candy. I've got some Mystic Water and a Galactic Galactic Aura. And then for the tank tops, I've got some Magical Rainbow. This one I'm going to call Forest Fairy. And of course the Unicorn Candy. I've got a bunch of different sizes, a bunch of different colors, so lots of stuff to pick from. Whatever I don't sell at my event will be up on my website, magicallymj.com. Thank you so much for watching, guys. This was a wonderful little uh, mini review to do while I was going to do my tie-dye that I wanted to do anyway. That kit is wonderful, but if you're doing a lot of bigger items, a lot of things that might include a lot of dye, I like to use a lot of the same colors. So the 36 kit was not enough for me. I ended up opening up two additional 36 piece sets to do my 36 items. So keep that in mind with your future projects.